Well, it is such a delight for me to be at the Leach Botanical Garden, and I'll tell you, this is one of the, the hidden treasures of the beautiful city of Portland that it's here in. And I am with Scott, and you are the, the head gardener for this wonderful location, are you not? That's correct. So, I want to ask you right away, getting to work in this, this piece of paradise, what is it that is your favorite things about it? What really do you just get so excited about? I really think the word that best describes it is just the setting. Yeah. Uh, one of the things you might have realized on your way out here is that this garden is not typical of what the area of this area of Portland is like. Right. You drive through industrial areas, you drive through residential neighborhoods, and then you suddenly come on to Johnson Creek Canyon, and it's this little paradise in here. It really is. It is. And so when I'm working here, I just feel so fortunate that I'm in a setting where I feel like I'm in, a, in nature. I feel like uh, I'm surrounded by interesting wildlife, and of course the plant life is really captivating for me too. And what is it at right now at this time of year that's in bloom? Because I'm looking at some stuff that mm -hmm. is breathtaking. Yeah, uh, right now April is our uh, April's always a peak out here, but things have, are quite a, ahead of schedule this year, probably two to three weeks. So when visitors have been here, I've been telling him it's, them it's uh, really just the peak time. So if you were to pan over here, if you wish again, um, there really are four natives in particular that I really like right now. There's the white flowered Chilium or Chilium ovatum. There are the um, lavender colored Erythronium revolutums and white colored Erythronium oregonums. And then we also do have a smattering of uh, viola sempervirens here. So these are all native plants that create this beautiful palette here too. And this is just an expanding in its scope uh, yearly too. So this is something that I really try to point out to visitors is that if you really enjoy native plants, this is really the place to be. And it's also, you've got like, you've got a rock garden as well. I we mean, do. you've got different areas that you can walk through. Yes, so we have a rock garden. We have the historic collection of the leeches, which includes a lot of woody plants, um, quite a few that are from Asia and Southeast USA. Uh, and then we have a repairing collection too, and that primarily holds uh, additional natives that you would find in that setting along with the fern collection. Well, you know, it's really beautiful here, but now we're going to take a little break. I'm going to walk over and talk to David about some really exciting things that are happening here at Leach Botanical Garden. So now I'm here with David Porter, and tell me, what, what is your title here at the garden? I'm the executive director at Leach Botanical Garden. And you know, one of the things, I've lived here a long time, and of course I've known about Leach, but I think one of the fascinating things about this place is that John and Lila Leach owned it, but they, they had a, a pretty rich history themselves, didn't they? They did, they did. John and Lila Leach were uh, extraordinary early civic leaders. Um, Lila was an exploring botanist. John was a businessman in Southeast Portland and very successfully ran a pharmaceutical business, but they also uh, went out and explored in the mountains of the Pacific Northwest, discovered plants. Um, and then uh, really tried to transform their community in a positive way. They were definitely philanthropic and um, generous with people. They didn't have any children. Um, and happily, they left Leach Botanical Garden to the city of Portland. So it's, uh, it's a true gem. It really is. And one of the things that, that I love that's happening very soon now is a specific plant sale, is it not? That's correct. Uh, we, every year for, well, long before my time here, have had uh, an annual plant sale. And this year's is Saturday, April 4th, so it's coming up almost immediately. Um, we have about 18 different vendors of uh, specialty plants, mostly Northwest natives. Wow. Um, we'll be at Floyd Light Middle School from 9.30 till 2 p.m. And uh, this year we're trying something new. Our, our members can get in early with their membership card from 9 to 9.30 and get an early shot at those plants. So, so if there's the really fun stuff that they yep. love, then yes. they have a better chance of yes. getting that. It's very Because some of those things aren't propagated in large, yeah. large quantities. Um, and the most important thing about it, of course, is that it's a major fundraiser for the yeah. garden. It really supports us. And it's done largely by volunteers. And, you know, the garden is expanding. That's another great thing that's happening soon, isn't it? We're at a very exciting time in Leach Botanical Garden's history. Um, we've been open for 30 plus years wow. um, as a public garden. Um, over that time, new land has been being acquired, and so we now have a little over 17 acres. We are doing a design for the upper garden, which is about eight acres. We have a design team led by Land Morphology and uh, Olson Kundig Ar Architects out of um, Seattle. They're brilliant people who have worked on botanical gardens around the country. Yes. And uh, so our objective is uh, to have new visitor facilities, better parking, 
um, places for the community to use uh, activities and events, um, and most importantly, presentations of the sun-loving collections that right now don't do so well yeah. in the <laughs> shaded part of the lower garden. So uh, things like a Darlingtonia fen. Oh. Um, we're going to have a phys physic garden because John was a pharmacist. John yeah. Leach yeah. was a pharmacist and had a physic garden in the 1930s. But we're going to be talking about plants' interactions with humans in the 21st century. So looking at textiles, manufacturing, wow. and pharmaceuticals. So it just seems to keep getting better it and does. better. It does. Well, you know, certainly we would invite you to go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website. Come out, spend some time here, go to the plant sale. There's wonderful events that can happen here. So just go in and just get some great information about this wonderful jewel. You could look at leechgarden.org as well and find out more about the design and actually give your thoughts on the subject because we'll have ways for people to interact with it. There you go, everything you want to do to celebrate Leech Botanical Garden. Thank you so much.